Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kaiser, and welcome back to another video of mine, this time starring my favorite game, Planet Zoo. It really has been a while since we've gotten back to this game, so yeah, I'm really excited to be playing it once again. On my last playthrough, I made an exhibit for the capybara, but now I'm actually going to be making an exhibit for one of the most underrated animals in Planet Zoo, and probably one of the most underrated animals in general. It's an exhibit for the Chinese pangolin. Uh, my exhibit for this one is actually going to be based on Singapore's Night Safari's uh, current Sunda pangolin exhibit, which is also known as the Singapore Natives exhibit, as it doesn't only just house the Sunda pangolin or Malayan pangolin, which happens to be my favorite animal as of right now, but it also houses the small tooth palm civet and leopard cats. So yeah, I'm very excited for this one, especially since it's actually going to be my very first attempt at a realistic build. Alright, so starting off with this exhibit, the first thing I tried to make was the moat or the body of water in the Singapore Natives exhibit. So interestingly enough, of all the three species that live in the habitat, it's only really the Sunda pangolin that actually uses it. Like, yeah, they'll actually go into the water and paddle inside. Sunda pangolins are very confident confident swimmers. Uh, they're not afraid of water at all. In fact, they absolutely love it. Uh, for example, here's some footage that I'm going to be showing you right now of Barani, who is currently the pangolin that lives in the habitat with the civets and the leopard cats. So at the time of creating this build, I actually don't have a full reference image of the entire exhibit. So I was just trying to piece up bits and pieces of whatever I remember from the exhibit. Plus additionally, like the few photos I took of the animals inside that also start a bit of the exhibit. So uh, yeah, I guess that was really just my references. So for this case right now, what you're seeing here is I think some sort of slab, like stone slabs on the side of the barrier, uh, not to mention uh, the only, it, it tends to just be on the side of the barrier and actually it tends to be like chain mesh when it comes to the right side. Uh, usually uh, the pangolin can climb up on the chains, on the mesh, but uh, yeah, I, I guess I not everything here is just going to be entirely based on the Singapore Natives exhibit, so eh, oh well. Now as you can see here, this is actually a very silly part. Uh, I was trying to find a log to replicate the log bridge, but uh, I didn't know that the logs in Planet Zoo <laughs> were actually found in like the construction area <laughs> instead of like the nature area, so yeah, but at least I figured it out eventually and I got some really cool uh, log pieces from these because uh, yeah, these log pieces on the workshop, on the Planet Zoo workshop are actually like really cool. I do plan on using them in the future. I really love the way they're made and I, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to use these uh, logs in the future. Uh, yeah, so in the end, my stupidity actually came with some benefits here. So the log that was actually positioned in front or of the glass like right here uh, is based on the actual one uh, in the exhibit. And then this one is another log bridge, uh, which the pangolins and the leopard cats can access. I'm pretty sure the civets can too, but the civets usually are like very in, they're like always in front of the guests and they don't like to enter the dark areas unless it's like the back of the house because the civets just seem to absolutely love people. Then uh, we're also installing a tree right in the middle of the exhibit. Uh, yeah, it's based on the one that just slapped right at the front of the habitat. Uh, yeah, and then there's the uh, fake termite mound and then the feeder for the pangolin, which is behind the log. That's where the keepers tend to put it. And uh, this part here was just meant to replicate like the few branches found in the habitats. Uh, usually the civets actually use them, not the pangolin. Uh, I don't even think that the pangolin can access uh these ones and then i don't know what i was thinking about uh with that one i guess i was trying to replicate like the climbing structures that the civets have but then i remember they're just basically vines like multiple branches that are just like placed there strategically by the by the exhibit designers like god damn 
uh it's act i think building this exhibit actually made me uh respect keepers like the exhibit designers a lot more because all the planning all the processes there is just amazing and of course you gotta respect the creators like uh, the lady designer best in slot leaf because their builds are so good compared to mine and my god I, i'm just a starter so yeah i really just gotta love that it, it, it's just amazing gushing about goaded creators aside though uh next thing i was making is the rock formation like thing uh, i guess like a rock formation that actually serves as the waterfall for the singapore natives exhibit or i guess right now it's the chinese pangolin exhibit i haven't talked about the chinese pangolin at all in this video just about the actual exhibit i'm basing it on itself uh so when it comes to this one the rock formation like there's the waterfall system inside of the rocks and then it'll just keep gushing out at some random points in time mine though mine though is just gonna gush out like the water just gonna keep on flowing forever and then the glass viewing area at the front uh yeah i just added some logs there just to make it a bit more similar to the actual exhibit that i'm basing it on itself and now for the last part of this section it's just basically just uh just trying to make the exhibit a lot more pretty like adding foliage adding rocks changing some small issues just basically just trying to make the exhibit a lot prettier and just adding some enrichment for the chinese pangolin that's about all i have to say thank you very much for watching this video uh, and listening to me ramble about all this and with all that this is my chinese pangolin exhibit enjoy